Hey guys, so today's video I am in my bathroom and I'm going to be filling a review on the uh, NYX Micellar Stripped Off Cleansing Water. Um, I usually use the Garnier, but the more often I use it, the more I feel that it kind of leaves that slimy residue on my face and really not too much of a fan of that. Also, it says it re removes waterproof makeup and it doesn't do a good job of that quite. Um, when I first reviewed this, I know I said that I was in love with it and I thought it was really great, but the more I used it, the more I kind of thought that eh, it's not so great. So I was shopping, I was trying to find a new type of makeup remover that I could use. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of the Garnier and I'm running low, so I thought I would try to find something new when I ran across NYX. Um, like I said, I know NYX is really good for the price. This was about six to eight dollars for the same amount as the Garnier. So um, I really thought it wasn't that much of a loss if it didn't work out, but I was really excited to try this. I hadn't seen it before, I hadn't heard any reviews on it, so I thought I'd try it out. I'm just gonna pull my hair back. As you can see, I have a full face of makeup. This is waterproof uh, mascara eyeliner. I have a little bit of lip uh, lipstick um, and a bunch of eyeshadow colors with some primer on it. Um, there's some contour going on and some highlight and hopefully this stuff will be able to get it all off. I'm just going to be going in with the little cotton rounds. Okay, Garnier didn't do that. So right away, I've already taken off pretty much all of my face makeup, and it feels a lot more liquidy. I feel like you could tell there was a little bit more oil maybe in the, the Garnier, but you can tell it's already taken off pretty much quite a bit. Um, still I haven't gotten up to my hairline. I can feel, as I feel my face, there's no oily type of residue, which is exactly what I was disliking about the Garnier. Um, the other thing I disliked about it was the fact that um, it wasn't getting off my waterproof makeup as well. Um, so I would try to get it off, get in the shower, and then hop out of the shower with raccoon eyes. Um, so I'm going to take a clean cotton pad and again shake it up. And at first, I'm just going to put this on my eye and kind of gently rub it around, try and loosen up the makeup. So this is just from one eye. I feel like I can still see just a little bit on that bottom lash line, but it's kind of hard to get. I pulled at my lashes, and you can see kind of like a uh, dark line right there by what is left. It's not a lot left. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Again, with this other eye, you can tell there is a little bit of makeup stuck under that bottom lash line. But yeah, this is my second eye. For the most part, there is no residue. It almost feels like I just washed my face. It kind of has that clean feeling to it. Um, yeah, overall, just by using it this once with a full face of makeup and waterproof makeup, I do feel like it did a better job than the Garnier. Uh, like I said, I didn't think NYX was going to let me down. I'll continue to use this. Uh, like I said, I think it did a good job for this one time. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's totally worth, I believe it was six to eight dollars. I think it's totally worth that for you to try it out if you're not a fan of the oily type residue. So yeah guys, give it a try. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next one.